Hello everyone, how's everyone doing today? I hope you're all having a really nice weekend. My name is Dr. Iyabo. My full name is Iyabo Webzel. I'm a board certified pediatrician and I'm coming on today to let you know that the second Women Without Guilt conference is coming up soon. I started hosting conferences last year because I've been wanting to do it for a while since I started writing and blogging just because I've had so many female connections that have reached out to reached out to me and I've been able to hear their stories and just really feel what women especially young women are going through for some reason I have some kind of attraction to younger women maybe it's just a passion or a gift that is god given but I just noticed over the years since I wrote since I published my book in 2017 that you and I, I was I started becoming more present on social media I've been noticing that younger women reach out and they just have so many questions so so many and all the questions honestly commonly just revolve around women carrying around guilt and shame and fear and excessive worry and low self-esteem and just not feeling that they're good enough and this just really blocks them from being able to step out into their true life purpose so i came up with the idea of the women without guilt conference and we had the first one last year which was in person again covid hadn't come upon the world then so this year it's coming up very soon it's going to be a zoom conference so i want all of you to join in i want you to tell your friends your neighbors and everybody um, again my niche is the younger female age group I love all women I love you know even reaching out to men as well because if we are helping women somebody also has to be helping the men live balanced lives but that's not my true niche I have to honor my niche I have to honor what my passion is and not be a jack of all trades because again that's something else that keeps people from fulfilling their purpose they want to be a jack of all trades so my niche is the younger age group and I've now narrowed it down to 21 to 45. So this conference is going to be for women aged between 21 to 45. We will have a handful of older women on there because of course I'm 50. So there's many of my friends who will also want to come on, but I'm targeting this again to the younger age group. And this is the age group, especially women in their thirties. I'll probably say are the, that's the most common age group that I hear from that just have so many questions for me. So we're going to, I'm going to be having the Women Without Guilt conference this year. It's coming up soon. This summer I'll announce the date soon. It's going to be a paid conference. Last year's was a free event, but for me to really be able to deliver quality to you and what you really need to soar in life, this time it's going to be paid. But I'm also going to hold a contest for a few women. I'm going to have a few women write essays. So if you're one of those who love to write, you're going to be able to get, there's going to be a few, I'm not going to tell you the number, but there's going to be a few free tickets for my conference. And I'm going to tell you the topic for the essay later. I'm going to have you write an essay that I'll read and then choose the winners who will attend the conference for free. Because again, I'm a writer and I'm trying to make a lot. If I could make every woman a writer and an entrepreneur, honestly, I would, because I feel there's so much that comes out from those two skills. So Women Without Guilt Conference is coming up soon. Start telling your friends that Dr. Yabo's second event is coming up online soon. It's going to be a Zoom conference and it's going to be worth your while you're going to get so much from this conference because as you know i'm a pediatrician i've been practicing for 28 years i'm a practice owner i own my practice my practice started from scratch i didn't buy anybody's practice and i scaled it up all the way i've had between 8 to 12 i think at one time i even had 14 employees i've had many employees and my practice has gone from zero on day one to a practice that is now worth more than a million dollars it's well worth more than a, a million so even if i decided to let it go today and go into other things i've already built a practice a business that is worth so much than 
what I bought it for and it has even been able to help me maintain a very good salary for the last few years. So I know there's many women that just feel stuck. They feel like, why is my life not progressing? Why isn't this happening? There's so many questions. My husband doesn't want me to do my business. I just got recently divorced. I don't have the confidence to come out and speak. I'm too shy. I don't even know what I want to speak about. How do I know what my gifts are? There's so much that holds us women back, so much. So my life purpose is to help you women in that age group figure it out. Because even if you have the best business idea and you're not taking care of yourself emotionally, we carry out around so many emotional blocks. Like I said, guilt, fear, shame. That's why I came up with the name of this conference, Women Without Guilt. Because if you're feeling guilty about your past, you're never going to be able to progress. If you have the business, best business idea, you're not going to be able to move an inch. If you're not confident and you're worried that people are going to scrutinize your accent or the way you're talking or how your hair is, there's so many women that just can't step out because of all these emotional blocks. So I'm going to help you overcome all that so that you can also become the best that you can be. There's two pillars of, of things that I know that all women want. We all want financial freedom and independence, and we all want fulfillment in life. I call them the two Fs. The two Fs, everything else that we want or everything else that we're worried about falls under those two categories. So some women have the financial independence, but they don't feel fulfilled. Some feel fulfilled and they're kind of happy but they don't have any earning power so those are the two parts of life it's a dynamic you're not if your life isn't emotionally mentally and physically balanced you could have the best business idea you could want to launch you could want to launch the best app you could want to you know launch you could be a doctor who wants to open a practice but if you lack self confidence if you don't trust your own voice if you don't exercise every day if you don't know how to find quiet time in your life you're not going to be able to scale that business so life is about being able to have that balance and like i keep saying i'm 50 years old i've been through all those and i know exactly where those blocks come from and how you can do your best to get those blocks out of your life so you can soar again there's many of you you know yourselves that send me dms on a daily basis so this conference is for you especially for you and your friends all those questions you have for me we're going to just get into each and every of them we're going to have q a sessions i'm going to have a surprise uh, speaker come on who's going to help you also and all those doctors out there doctors and dentists pharmacists nurses all of you in the medical field who are between that age who are wondering i feel stuck in my career is this all I'm meant to do? Just do these long ER shifts and do nothing else. If you've been thinking of writing a book or you've been thinking of starting a blog or you've been thinking of doing some cooking demonstrations on YouTube, whatever it is that you've been thinking of doing, it's time for you to step out. And this is an opportune time. I'm telling you, there's COVID-19 going on. I'm a very spiritual person, but underneath, all of this COVID-19 COVID is opportunities that God has set out for all of us to have free time, to have quiet time, spiritual time, to be able to figure out what it is we really want to do. And then there's the internet. Guys, when I opened my practice in 2004, I didn't have this wealth of interactions to be able to reach out to people you guys have all this you have zoom you have instagram facebook linkedin so what are you waiting for i'm the biggest introvert of all all my friends who know me are surprised that i come on and do this but once you find your passion and once you see that your passion has value then that will lead to fulfillment and you'll want to keep going so those two things that all women crave, financial freedom and independence 
and fulfillment in life. And those two things will equal your true purpose in life. If you're li and, and they are intertwined. So if you're living out your true purpose, eventually you'll be able to monetize it because you're just that that passion. You're going to jump up each morning and you want to keep, you want to keep blessing the group of people that are your niche. So eventually, if you're living your true purpose, it will lead to you making money. And then the more money you make, the more that you can even live out your purpose. You see, I had a free conference last year. This year, it's not going to be free because I have so much in stock, in store and in stock for you. So stay tuned. Keep following me. Ask your friends to follow me so that once I announce that that tickets are live and I announce that contest, because I'm looking forward to reading some nice essays, I'm going to ask a question and I'll want ladies to write a certain word number and I'll read the essays and whoever I feel the most connected to or that I feel most passionate will get free tickets. I don't know how many free tickets yet, but I just want to really have people be able to write what they're thinking, to be able to articulate what it is that they want to do. If you can't articulate what you want to do in life, you're not going to be able to do it. So the first step is to be able to articulate it. If you woke me up from slumber, I'll tell you that I'm a board certified pediatrician. I'm a pediatrician. I'm all about the health and well-being of children. I'm a blogger. I love to blog about life-defining topics and topics that can help everybody, not just women, live a permanently happy life, which is a peaceful and fulfilled life. I love to write. I'm also a conference host, which I'm doing now. I'm also on the board of MD, I'm sorry, Flow, uh, Flow Live um, and Flow Health. I'm saying Flow Live. Oh my goodness. I just mixed up my husband's business partner to my own. Oh my goodness. Okay. Pardon me. Everybody's flow, flow, flow these days. Yeah, we, we all need to be in the flow of life. So you see, you don't have to be an expert to speak. If you make a mistake, you just say, sorry, that was a mistake. Oops. And you keep going. So in life, you don't need to be perfect in life. But anyway, yes. So I'm, and I'm a speaker and I also call myself a female empowerment leader because I feel that I've earned that. I've been able to provide a lot of value to women that have changed their lives. I've gotten so many testimonies and some of them actually bring me tears of joy when I hear them. So I want to help you to be able to get that financial freedom in your life by using the gifts God gave you. There's no magic to it. When you took your first breath, when you were born, God gave you gifts and you have to use them to fulfill your purpose and also to get financial freedom. I want to help you to get financial freedom and to feel fulfilled in life. But first, you have to learn how to drop all those emotional blocks. You cannot be a physician entrepreneur if you don't have, if you don't have balance in your life and if you don't have true peace and true happiness. You cannot be who you want to be unless you live that balanced life. So. Keep following me and look out for the announcement for the second Women Without Guilt Conference. Okay, people, good to see you. Bye. Love you all. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.